Hola! Welcome back viewers to another episode of Vows You. I see you! <laughs> so guys, in today's episode of Vows You, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can learn anything online. And I mean anything. So, let's get into this video. There's no better time to learn online than now. You all know this because one, we're in a pandemic, two, everyone is at home, and three, there's so many courses whereby you can just simply sit at home and learn without wasting so much college funds and all. And in this video, which you already know, I'm going to tell you every single thing and how you can do this just at the comfort of your home. Okay? But, but guys, as there are also the advantages of learning online, there are also disadvantages. And I just want to show you these disadvantages. And that's one. There are so many biases out there. There's so many fake gurus, so many people that say they know but they don't really know. So many people that have so many following, a really large following, but don't know what they're talking about. And that's because they are good at marketing and all that. So you have to really sit through the depth. You have to separate the wheat from the chaff. You have to really find the gold in all the piles of shit. Okay? And secondly is this. You also have to have discipline. When you're learning online, there's so many lack of discipline. And I know, I see you, that there's lack of discipline. When you go to school, there's lack of discipline. And now, you have to do all the work yourself. You have to choose your classes, you have to study all the time on your own. Nobody's pushing you. So guys, this is not easy. But we gotta do it. We gotta do it, okay? So, these are just the two challenges. Lack of discipline and so many classes and faith gurus out there. And I want to show you how we can do this and make it better for us. So let's move to what you need to learn online. So, what do you need to learn online? Let me tell you. You need one, an objective. You have to have a North Star. You have to have a goal. Because really, you have to have something that you're always looking up to. When you know, when you know that there's no diploma they're going to give you, there's nothing that you're paying for, you feel that it's not really necessary for you to just keep going along with it. So if you really want to learn something online, you have to have an objective. Tell yourself, yeah, do you want to start making pictures to send to Disneyland? Do you want to start photographing your governor? Whatever big goal you have. Yes, this objective can change in the future, but you just have to have something that you're looking up to. Okay? Now, the next one is have a desire to learn. A burning passion, a desire, a feeling, a feeling that cannot be easily taken away. That when you have no internet connection, when things are getting hard, when you're tired, you still want to learn. This is very important for learning online because sometimes you just get fed up. Sometimes your network is really slow. I know you know what I'm talking about, right? So you really got to have a desire, a burning passion because this is what is going to make you go straight to the top. Three. As I said earlier, you need a little bit of discipline. Because really, you got, you got to have discipline. Nobody is there to tell you what to do, so you have to tell yourself what to do. And finally, you need an internet connection. Duh. So let me summarize. What exactly do you need to learn online? You need an objective. You need discipline. You need a desire to learn and you need an internet connection. That's right. So what are the stages of learning online? Stage one, the absorption period. This is the part whereby you get everything in. You absorb articles, podcasts, ebooks, everything you need to know about what you want to learn. Read, listen, watch. Let's say I want to learn photography. 
That means I'm going to start reading articles about photography, I'm going to listen to podcasts about photography, I'm going to watch videos about photography, and so on. Just keep absorbing all the information in because it's this period whereby you have so much desire to learn and you have to really, you have to really get all the stuff in. Stay tuned, the straight to the top. This is all about you sifting the chap from the weeds. Yes, finding the gold. Finding those people that really know what they're talking about online. Okay, now this can be someone who is really good or a book that's really awesome. You know, when I want to talk about motivation, I read good books. Like um, when I want to get rich, <laughs> I read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hughes. That book is awesome. Okay, and now when I want to learn how to grow my YouTube channel and how to do this kind of makeup, I go to Kirchin Memena, who is really awesome at makeup, lifestyle, and you know, growing a YouTube channel. So the next is application. Yes, you see, once you've learned all the things online, you have to really apply it. Learning online is quite crucial and quite sometimes difficult. So you have to apply what you learn. If you learn how to do photography, then go out and start taking photos. Duh! Because if you do this, this solidifies what you have learned. Set creative projects for yourself. What they say about action speaks better than words is almost the law of use and disuse. What you don't use will also become useless. Alright? So start using what you have learned. Make a portfolio that you can work on. Create things. If you want to start making photos for Disney, go out there and start snapping cute photos, photos of mansions or something. Just start doing something. You know, start applying every single thing that you've learned. When I learn makeup from Collection Bemina or I learn how to grow my YouTube channel, I apply every single thing that she teaches me. And when I see the progress, I know, yeah, that means I'm learning something. So try applying everything that you learn. Okay guys? Thank you so much for listening guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. You can also tell me in the comment section what you like about this video. Are you learning something online? And if you're learning something online, tell me what it is in the comment section. And if you would like me to make a video, another video, please tell me in the comment section. It might just be my next video. Alright? And also if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and you're new to my channel, welcome and please subscribe right here and i will see you in this video or this video you know how much i like seeing you in my videos all right guys thank you so much for listening